business-like. What am I doing with my hands? Why am I doing that? Let me start from the beginning again. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Kyle Kregel and I'm an artist at Cirque du Soleil. Welcome back to Color Me Cirque. I hope that you guys enjoyed last week's video. If you didn't catch it, make sure to go see it now if this is your first time with us. Hi, my name is Kyle and I will be here every week to guide you through step-by-step -step of some of my favorite Cirque du Soleil looks. This week, we are going to take you through another character from our show, Totem. This time, it's the businessman. Now, suit and tie are optional. What is not optional are the tools and products that are down below in the description box. So please check those out if you're planning on sticking around and following this step-by-step -step tutorial with me. So without further ado, here's the tutorial. All right, you guys, I hope you guys came prepared to do yet another makeup. In the case that you did not come prepared, well, you don't have very long before this tutorial starts because it's starting right now. Okay, for today's makeup, we are doing a character called the Businessman. And since we are a human, we are going to start off with a cream foundation that matches our skin tone. I'm just applying this with a regular makeup sponge, regular cream foundation that matches me all over the face and blending down the neck. All right, and now that our base is laid down, I'm going to grab another clean makeup sponge, and this time I'm gonna grab a highlight color. So this is another cream foundation that is a few shades lighter than the one that I just applied, and I'm going to apply this on some of the high points of the face. I'm gonna start off on the forehead, and I will eventually bring this color down the bridge of my nose. I'm then going to apply this on the eyelids, under the eyes, under the nose, on the chin, and on the jawline. Once you have applied this highlight shade in all of the areas that I just mentioned, make sure that you blend them as you go along. Okay, now that we are done applying the highlights to our face, we are now going to contour our face. So I'm going in with a cream foundation that is a few shades darker than my actual complexion, and I'm gonna go in with a few different brushes and a sponge to apply this. I'm going to start off by a nice medium-sized flat brush, and I'm going to apply it under the cheeks to contour my cheeks. The temple contour and the cheekbone contour will end up slightly connecting around on the outside edge, but I'm gonna go back in with a sponge to blend that together later. Taking that same brush, I'm now going to apply this contour color on the sides of my nose to contour the nose. I am taking this all the way from basically the beginning of my eyebrow down the sides of my nose. Now, I know that it is a contour color and it is on the nose, but the point of this makeup is not to make our nose appear thinner, it's just to define the nose. So I'm really making sure that I'm staying on the side of my nose and not letting that color touch the top of the bridge of my nose. And once I've applied that to the sides of my nose, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a little shape on the top of my lip. So basically we want to have two kind of curved shapes starting from the bottom of our nostril, following a curve towards the outside edges of our mouth. Okay, now that we have finished the upper lip, I'm now going to apply a little bit of this under the center of my bottom lip, and that is just to accentuate the bottom of the lip and also the top of our chin highlight. Once you've quickly applied that under the lip, you can go ahead and move on and apply this color under the jawline, and we are eventually gonna blend this down the neck. Grabbing that same cream color, I'm just going to use a smaller cat tongue brush, and I'm going to draw a little teardrop shape right above the cupid's bow in the center of the lip, just to accentuate that crease. Now that we have all of our areas accentuated, it is now time to blend. So you can either grab a clean sponge or you can dust off your brush or grab a clean brush. Whichever tool you want to use, just make sure that you blend everything into the skin nicely. After we're done blending our contours, I'm going to grab a medium, small-ish, flat eyeshadow brush. That was a really good description of the brush, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to grab a medium to small eyeshadow brush and a darker brown cream, and I'm actually going to use this to define my sideburns. So I'm just going to blend that color into my sideburns and slowly blend it up the sides of my hairline. All right, guys, now that your base is laid down, it is time to set it into place. So I am grabbing that same old, my trusty, handy dandy, neutral set powder and a powder puff, and I'm just going to do touch-ups before setting as needed and setting the entire face. All right, and once your creams are nice and set down, you're just gonna grab your favorite fluffy brush and get rid of all the excess powder. Okay, now I am grabbing a larger, denser brush. This is actually a natural hair brush, and I'm grabbing a highlight powder. Now this is a matte highlight powder, so this would be a powder that looks really similar to the cream that we already applied, and I'm just going to run over and re-accentuate all of the highlighting points. This means that I am going to start off on the forehead, and I'm going to blend this color upwards a little bit. Once I'm done applying on the forehead, I will pull it down the bridge of the nose. Once I'm done with the nose, I will go and apply this on the eyelids and under the eyes, under the nose and the areas around the contour shapes that we drew, on the jawline, and on the chin. 
Okay, now that we are nice and highlighted, we need to go ahead and re-deepen those contours. So I'm just gonna take a nice big fluffy brush and I'm going to take a medium toned brown eyeshadow that matches up pretty well with the cream that we used. And I'm going to go on top of the contouring that I did on my temples. Now that our temples are nice and bronze, we are going to go ahead and redefine our cheek contour. Now this is a masculine contour, so I'm actually going to pull this shape down a little bit towards the edges of my mouth. However, I suppose if you're doing it at home, you can contour however you would like. Once I'm finished applying this on the cheek and I'm feeling really good about my contour, clearly, I'm going to go ahead and blend this onto the jawline contour that we did and blend the color a little bit down onto the neck as well. Now that our complexion is nice and defined, I'm going to go in with a very small detail cat tongue brush with the exact same powder, and I'm going to redefine that teardrop shape that we drew above the mouth. Okay, now we can put that tiny little brush away and grab a nice medium-sized flat eyeshadow brush, and we're going to go ahead and define those curved shapes that we drew on the outsides of our upper lip. Okay, so now that we are defining the upper lip, I just want to let you guys know that the insides of the shape, we want to have a little bit sharper, and the outsides, we kind of want them to blend into the complexion nicely. Once you're done defining the upper lip, of course we are going to go ahead and redefine the center bit of our lower lip. And once you are done with the lower lip, you're going to go ahead and redefine the nose entirely. Okay, I'm now going back in with a small definer brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and redefine the contours of my nostrils. So I'm just really working that in the crease of my nostril, not over-exaggerating too much, but just accentuating what's naturally already there. Alright, now that we are done applying our contours everywhere, I'm going to go in with sort of a shimmery brown highlight. It's not super duper pigmented. I would potentially call this a bronzer, but it has more of a sheer finish. So I would say a sheer shimmery bronzer. And I'm just going to use this around the edges of the areas where I've already contoured just to kind of marry the contours and the highlights together. All right, I'm gonna go back in and redefine the sideburns with an ash brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna go back in with the same size brush that we used to apply the cream in the same spot before. I'm just going to blend this eyeshadow in, redefine things, and blend it up into my natural hairline. All right guys, now it's time to work on the center of the face. We are gonna go ahead and define the eyebrows. To do this, I'm taking a small definer brush and a gel eyeliner. Now, you could use a gel eyeliner, you could use a brow pomade if you have one, or you could use your favorite brow pencil. Anything as long as it's darker brown and will define your eyebrows. In this case, this character does have an eyebrow that's on the thinner side, so I'm actually going to, yes, draw in my natural eyebrow zone. However, I am going to define a thinner shape than what I naturally have. Okay, I'm going in with the exact same gel liner and the same definer brush, and I'm just going to define the lower lash line. Now for this bottom liner, at the outer corner, it's going to be touching my actual lash line, and as I go in, I am going to leave a very small space in between my actual lash line and the eyeliner. Once I'm done defining the shape of the eyeliner, I'm gonna go back in with that exact same eyeshadow that we used to contour to go ahead and blend out this gel. As I was saying, we are going to blend out this line to make it a little bit more smoky, so I'm going to take a cat tongue brush, which is still a definer brush, but a little bit bigger than the one that we used to apply the gel, and I'm just going to blend this out with a brown powder. So we're now going to use all of the same things and all of the same steps to draw an eyeliner on the upper lash line. This specific eyeliner is nice and thick on the outside, and it comes down nice and thin actually before the inside corner of the eye. So I recommend trying to thin it down as much as possible so that it can end just after the inside of the iris. Once you're done defining this line with the gel, of course, as I said, you're going to go in and blend it out with the brown eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with a water-based product. So this is sort of a peach highlight water-based color. And I'm going to grab a definer brush and I'm going to define that line in the space that we left between the eyeliner and the lower lash line. All right, and once our lower lash line is nice and defined, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this color on to the upper eyelid. So I'm gonna draw a nice round shape at the inside corner of the eye and I'm going to continue to define the crease. Once I have defined the crease and covered my eyelid with this water-based product, I'm going to set it down with the same powder that we used to re-accentuate our highlights earlier on. So I'm getting to the end of the application process of this watercolor on my eyelid. So this is the time where we have to work fast. I'm going to quickly blend out the outer edges of this with the same brush that I just wiped off quickly on a towel. And once that is nice and blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a medium sized eyeshadow brush, the skin tone highlight powder, and quickly set the eyelid. 
Okay, so now that our eyes have a nice amount of dimension, we are going to apply a quick coat of black mascara on the top lashes only. Okay, now we are moving on to the lips. So for this lip, I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab a cotton swab loaded up with some basic makeup remover, and I'm just going to make sure that there's no foundation left on my natural lip shape. Now I'm grabbing a medium brown lip liner. This one's a little warmer. I would call this like a warm neutral brown. And I'm just gonna go ahead and define the outside edges of the lips. Now that I have defined the outside edges of the lips, I'm now done with the lip liner and I'm just going to grab a clean cat tongue brush and I'm going to finesse the edges and blend the inside edges of this lip liner into the lip. Now, we want these lips to have a nice color, but we also want it to have a bit of our natural color. So now, as I'm blending out that lip liner, I'm gonna go in with a combination of a basic clear lip conditioner and the lip pencil and play back and forth until I have a nice blended edge into my natural lip color, but also have a nice defined lip. Now that the base color of the lip is nice and defined, I'm gonna go back in with that sort of bronzish highlighting powder that we use to marry all the highlight and contours together, and I'm just gonna quickly apply that on the lip. Alrighty guys, and once you are finished with the lip, you are now done with this look. I like this makeup, it's nice and streamlined, it's meant to define natural features. Yeah, now you guys are looking like a businessman. Whoa, you guys look awesome! <laughs> Alright, you guys have transformed into yet another character from Cirque du Soleil's Totem. This one's a little bit more slicked up, a little more basic, a little less colorful, and just a little bit more about defining your own features, so I hope that you guys feel beautiful and defined. If you like this tutorial, please give us a big thumbs up. I would suggest that you give four or five if you could, but YouTube only lets you do one, as I have previously stated. So do that. Go ahead and click the subscribe button to make sure that you stay with us every week and don't miss one of our tutorials because they're super duper fun. If you've already liked and you're already subscribed, I have one more thing to request of you. Sound off below and let me know if you've recreated this look. If you did, post a picture or a video with the hashtag ColorMeCirc on any of your social media. That way we can find your replications on all of our platforms. I am looking forward to seeing your replications and I'm also looking forward to seeing you next week. See ya.